Hi, my name's Suzanne and today I thought I'd just jump on and go through some simple tips on sleep. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Suzanne and I help professionals overcome anxiety, procrastination and self-sabotage without medication so that they can have unlimited success in all areas of their life. Now, at the moment, sleep is a, a huge topic. <laughs> Everyone's talking about, I can't sleep. <laughs> when I go to sleep, I can't stay asleep. I wake up exhausted, a mixture of things. So if you're suffering from sleeplessness or even unable to get to sleep, uh, then I'll go through some tips that you can, can use to help you. Um, but just to, to reassure you what is going on when you, you're obviously fine during the day and then you hit the pillow and your mind is just going crazy, just looping thoughts and you just can't get those worries out of your head. So during the day, obviously you're distracted by lots of things going on around you. You're doing activities, exercising, um, you know, interacting in your bubble, of course, and... <laughs> and doing things around the house but when you go to bed your subconscious mind is still working even though your conscious brain is switched off so those worries and those thoughts that you had when you were subconsciously thinking about them what's going to happen i'm uncertain about this or what what is going on and you're worried about finances about your work about you know the world crisis at the moment Whatever it is, um, those thoughts are in your subconscious and they're just playing over and over again because your mind is always trying to find a solution for you. So what you can do is you can write out, what am I afraid of? What is it that I'm worried about? And ask yourself the question, can I take action? Is there something that I can do to resolve this? And if there is, write out what it is that you can do and take that action. And so you've got your list and you make that uh, you know, list and you come up with the solutions if there is a solution. Now, if there isn't a solution for you, you can't do anything about it, can't do anything about what is worrying you, then you need to let it go. And you can distract yourself with good thoughts, with things that you know you can control. So what you can control in your life, you know, reinforce those things and Praise yourself for making good progress. The other things that you can do is obviously avoid alcohol and caffeine before going to bed. So we, we all know that this triggers us. This is a stimulant. And so if you can avoid those things, if you are having trouble sleep, sleeping, then it will definitely help. Keeping yourself hydrated during the day and, and obviously prior to bed, switching off social media, avoiding the news and things that trigger you, things that worry you, and also even conversations about those things that are worrying you. Just avoid those um, prior to bed because that will also help. And then meditation. Meditation is a great way to, to calm your whole nervous system down and to put you into that a nice relaxed feeling prior to bed. You can also use guided meditations that actually allow you to listen to the meditation, which might be going into a deep sleep, and you just drift off to sleep. And then obviously the other things you can do is breathing exercises. So I talk about breathing a lot because it does calm your nervous system down and put you into a nice relaxed feeling, and that can help you. So. If you wake up during the night, you can actually just practice your breathing, even then, while you're lying in your bed, taking a deep breath in to the count of four, holding for the count of four, and then releasing for the count of six. Now, if you do this for three or four breaths, you'll find that very quickly, you actually start to relax and you'll drift back off to sleep. So sleeplessness is horrible and it is debilitating because night after night if you have prolonged sleep then it can affect you physically the next day and start to make you feel overwhelmed and anxious as well so if you're curious uh, about how to overcome your anxiety or physical symptoms of your anxiety then please feel free to contact me book your free strategy call and i look forward to speaking with you